On both sides, start the row. I'm on a journey with the crew of this fabulous longship in the port of Liverpool, recreating the Viking invasion of Britain. So what were the secrets of success for these conquering warriors? Well, the Vikings were master craftsmen, able to build fast, powerful, ocean-going ships like this one. But they were also very skilled navigators. The Vikings were ambitious explorers. They travelled as far west as North America and as far south as Iraq. And, of course, they came here to Britain. So, Bjorn, how did the Vikings actually get here? How could they navigate reliably? Well, they uh, look at sun, uh, stars, uh, wave, and uh, the normal uh, wind direction in different um, times of year. So there's lots of natural clues. They could plot their way using the sun and the stars. They were sort of adept at that kind of technique. Yeah. What if you can't see the sun or the stars? What then? Well, they could see uh, clouds around the island, for instance. They can see the seabirds where they fly back to the nests. They can uh, smell the land sometimes. If there is a pine tree or something, you can smell it. Really? So when you've been at sea for many days yeah. and you get close to the coastline, you just get a sense, yeah. you can start to smell it? Yeah. So Bjorn, you're the captain responsible for this incredible longship. How do you navigate? Is it the stars and the sun? Is it smelling land? Is it seabirds? Is it the colour of the water? How do you guide this thing? Obviously, we are using all this modern equipment. Ah. GPS. <laughs> GPS? Yeah. Right. Well, the Vikings were practical people. I'm sure they'd approve of you using the latest technology. Of course. They yeah. should love it. <laughs> Bjorn's longship is rowing round what was once a well-established Viking settlement, the Wirral Peninsula. On land, the Wirral is also the site of the Battle of Brunanburh, a Viking bloodbath. It's described as Britain's greatest battle before Hastings. For decades, the precise location of the battle was up for debate, but many people now believe that it was here in this area, part of which is Brackenwood Golf Course. In the summer of 937, two armies clashed here. The Vikings teamed up with the Celts of Scotland to conquer England, but all the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms united to stop them. This was a battle that would define the future of Britain. Steve, it's a lovely, tranquil golf course today, but tell me what was actually happening here during the battle. Indeed, peace and serenity now, but uh, uh, back in the battle, this would have been the site of absolute carnage. So maybe thousands of people would have been killed uh, in this whole area here. It's a very violent, very bloody, huge loss of life. Indeed, absolute carnage, as the uh, Anglo-Saxon Chronicle tells us. Never yet on this island has it been a greater slaughter of people killed by the edges of the sword. This was, this was terrible, it really was. And the result of the battle? The united Anglo-Saxon peoples won a resounding victory. The legacy was, uh, was twofold, really, from uh, an English perspective. It was the, one of the first occasions when a uh, united English force uh, were fighting together in a major battle. But unfortunately, from an English point of view, despite the fact that the victory was resounding, in two years' time, the Vikings were back in force. The battles between the Vikings and the English would go on for many years.